The earliest stegosaur fossils were unearthed in England and South Africa between the 1840 years and 1870 years, but it wasn't until the discovery of Stegosaurus in North America during the late 1870 years that this group was properly identified as a distinct category of dinosaurs. Early reconstructions of Stegosaurus were based on incomplete and disjointed fossils, leading to a very inaccurate depiction. Initially, it was shown as a bipedal, long-necked dinosaur, with its back plates lying flat like a turtle shell and a mix of plates and spikes arranged along its tail and body. In the late 1880 years, better specimens of Stegosaurus stenops were discovered, helping to clarify the dinosaur's anatomy. By the 1890 years, it was remagened with a high arched back, a tiny head, and a drooping tail. It was portrayed with short, slightly sprawled forelimbs and longer hind legs, its back plates upright, and tail spikes correctly positioned. Stegosaurus soon became one of the most recognizable dinosaurs, though its small brain contributed to the stereotype of dinosaurs as unintelligent creatures, with some even speculating it needed a second brain to control its body. The exact arrangement of its plates and spikes wasn't fully understood for decades. Initially, it was shown with up to eight tail spikes and a single row of back plates. By the early 1900 years, a symmetrical double row of plates became the norm, and by the 1920 years, the current alternating two-row layout, with four tail spikes, was established. In the latter half of the 20th century, new discoveries of Stegosaurus from China, combined with the dinosaur renaissance, led to revisions in how Stegosaurus was depicted. Its posture was corrected to a more upright stance, with its head and tail held higher, and its hands and feet were recognized as similar to those of sauropods. However, Stegosaurus itself remained somewhat puzzling compared to its relatives. Its short neck, long hind legs, large plates, and sloping back were much more exaggerated than those of other stegosaurs. This mystery was solved in the 2010s with the detailed description of a nearly complete specimen named Sophie. Previous reconstructions had been composites of different individuals of various ages and sizes, distorting the actual proportions. Sophie revealed that Stegosaurus was more typical in shape, with a longer neck and a more horizontal posture than previously thought. Modern interpretations show Stegosaurus as a late Jurassic dinosaur, living about 155 to 145 million years ago across the western and south-central U.S., possibly extending to Portugal. It grew up to 9 meters long and had a small head with a long snout, equipped with a toothless beak and peg-like teeth for chewing plants. Its neck was protected by bony ossicles, and its skin was covered in small pebbly scales with larger rosettes of oval scales. Its body and hind legs were shorter than previously depicted, giving it a less arched back. The function of Stegosaurus' large back plates remains debated. Initially thought to serve as armor, this idea has been largely discarded since the plates were too fragile. They may have helped regulate body temperature, like the ears of modern elephants, due to the presence of blood vessel impressions. However, the leading theory is that the plates were used for visual display, either for intimidating predators or rivals, or for attracting mates, and they may have been brightly colored or patterned. Meanwhile, its tail spikes, known as the thagomizer, seem to have been effective weapons. Many fossils show injuries to the tail area, and some Allosaurus fossils bear wounds that match the size and shape of Stegosaurus spikes. Articulated specimens indicate that the tail was held low, with the spikes pointed outward for defense. 